time is 647 right now and I want to check back in with storm tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith who has been busy all morning tracking a lot of rain. And this rain is going to stay with us Megan all day long. Need to plan on some extra time to get to your destination not just this morning but also this afternoon and for any evening plans you have. Another wide view of the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network shows that rain mass continuing to push eastward. And within that big shield of rain, there's a few pockets of heavier rain. I'm going to zoom in on Limestone and Madison counties. You see that heavier rain in the northern half of Limestone County, just outside of Athens, but elsewhere in the city of Athens itself, from city of Madison, Hudsville, Hazel Green, New Market, that rain continues to fall. You just saw that view of US 72. It is a very wet morning commute. I'd say plan an extra 15 to 20 minutes getting to work or school this morning. Let's scoot things to the west. We're starting to see a few more heavy downpours developing across much of Lawrence County. One heavier downpour just went through downtown Moulton. Heads up Hillsboro, heads up Cortland. You're going to be seeing this heavier rain in the next few minutes. And heavy rain continues to fall in Russellville and Town Creek at this hour. If you don't see the heavier downpours, well, you're still going to see rain all day. Wait 31 Skycam Network shows the rain drops on the lenses wherever you are. Roads are wet, of course. Temperature wise, we're in the low to mid 50s right now, and that rain is acting as fog, or at least it's reducing your visibilities. Another check shows that visibility down to five miles at Huntsville International, eight miles in Decatur, three miles in the Shoals, and three miles in Fayetteville, Tennessee. So this is just going to be one of those nasty washout kind of days. It's going to rain through the rest of this morning, this afternoon, and this evening. Evening, but despite the rain and clouds, we will warm up the temperatures a little bit today, getting close to 60 before the day is out. Outside of the rain and outside of any thunderstorms we might see this afternoon, it is going to be very windy too. We're already seeing those gusts around 25, 30 miles per hour. Could get as high as 35 to 40 miles per hour, especially this afternoon, given how saturated the ground already is. I would not be surprised to see a few trees get knocked down, maybe a couple of power outages and those outdoor holidays day decorations could go for a ride if they're not anchored down throughout the day. Here's future radar 9 a.m. Heavy rain noon heavy rain. You get the idea. We're going to keep these heavy waves of showers and a couple of thunderstorms around through the afternoon, but this cold front as it moves through this evening will quickly end our rain chances. You notice by nine o'clock tonight, rain is pretty much done in the shoals and by midnight the rain is gone. We'll have quick clearing skies and we'll have a plenty of sunshine to talk about tomorrow. Not today, though, obviously. Many spots are going to pick up one to two inches of rain today. Higher amounts in those purple colors in Hudsville, Scottsboro, down towards Coleman and Gadsden, too. But if you see several of those heavier pockets of rain, I would not be surprised to see a few spots get closer to those three inch rainfall amounts throughout the day today. So keep the umbrella handy and pack your patience on the road. Seven day forecast shows a much quieter weather pattern taking over. But boy, does it get cold. Highs only in the 40s this weekend with overnight lows in the 20s. Megan?